U Sports Central back at it. That's Charles Ashley. That's Rod head coach Dominic Bramante <laughs> of the Duke City Gladiators. I said semi-pro. It's still insulting, remember, right? Look, I mean, he I'm remembers sorry. you Arena calling football. his name That's wrong. My bad. You called him semi-pro. That's two things. It's about to be a fight around That's here. That's two things. I'll make it up because there's going to be some fantastic play-by-play -play over here because you've got a game Saturday night, coach. Boy, how in the world am I supposed to follow the top ten plays of the basketball season. Yeah. Can you pick a Did tougher you like segment? You like Can them? you pick a tougher segment <laughs> for me good, to be on? It? The top ten, top ten in baseball, softball, top ten in basketball. Next, Coach Bramante of the Gladiators. Whoa. But Everybody's at their refrigerator <laughs> right now, getting about? a drink that's, right now. That's good stuff. Hey, I'll tell you, I get no respect. Hey. Everyone is excited to see the team play, the colors. You got the good color scheme going on. You got Tingley. You brought football back to Albuquerque. What are you talking about? We're ready for this. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Come okay. on. You, you guys want to play something? You tonight? said you weren't going to talk about your opening game, but you have to tell us about the opening game. Coach. Last Saturday. What's up? Man, Starting Dallas, with the bus are, breaking down, everything. You guys are tough. I'm Let me sorry. Tell you, you guys are tough. They don't mess around here with you sports now. <laughs> what was your answer nah. going to be? You told us what our, your answer was going to be. We've moved on to San Angelo. Yeah, that's the answer. We moved on to San No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was, a, uh, it was a tough game. I mean, uh, uh, you know, being a, a, a baby, a baby mm -hmm. franchise, you know, we're literally only a month old. Yeah. And, you know, you have to overcome a, a lot of obstacles that come with being a month old. One of the major obstacles were we didn't get our football gear literally until last Wednesday. Oh, man. So the first time that we had contact was Friday night at the game. That was our first scrimmage. That was our first live practice. And being that it was our first game and their fourth they, you know, my concern was us adjusting to the speed of the game. They had a little bit more time, better timing than we did. We had to go through the, you know, the, 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 the obstacles that, you know, comes with really putting on a pass for the first time. Yeah. Basically, we had played flag football. One of the things that we really concentrated on was our conditioning. That we passed that yeah. test, you know. But you tackling know, probably it was, was a rough. It yeah, was a rough I'll night. I mean, it was a rough night. And our guys worked hard. You know, but uh, what positives could you take out of it? Well, one that our conditioning is where it's supposed to be. You know, number one, two, the evaluation. There's a lot of positives we could take out of it because you find out where you are ground zero and where do you go from here. What changes do you need to make? Because it was our first time really where we can get true evaluations on where we were positionally wise, uh, uh, unit wise, and team wise. So I'm glad it happened the way it happened because it gives us that starting point. We identify what the problem is. Now let's get a solution. And so now you have that, not the solution, because the season, it's a long season. You, right. you, you're tinkering right. with some things. Some people are going to play. Some people are going to get more time. Some people might not play as much. What are you going to adjust for your team for this weekend? What adjustments are well, you going to make well, for this weekend? Well, one of the weekend? things that we really have to do is we really have to come together with a competitive spirit. One of the things that uh, I did not do a very good job in preparing my team from a competitive standpoint. Yes, we knew going into the game that, you know, the obstacles, are, you know, uh, that we were facing probably were going to affect the outcome of the game. But I wanted to see a little bit more of our competitive fight from a team's aspect. And I didn't do a very good job in preparing for that, you know. And so uh, what we got from is we all have to do our job better. And that starts with me. I have to do a better job in preparing my club to, you know, to play a football game at that moment. So what do we got this weekend? Talk about Saturday night, 6 o'clock at Tingley. Uh, exciting, you know, football. <laughs> you know, we were talking to, uh, we're, we're practicing every night in Tingley. You know, you, you walk into that building and you see this big green football field with yeah. these boards up, and it's pretty breathtaking to think like, wow, you know, the tradition of the Coliseum, uh, playing football here in Albuquerque. Uh, we have an international team coming up from Mexico. They have a, a thriving American Indoor Football League down there. They assembled an all-star team to come up to Albuquerque and, and uh, play us on uh, Hispanic Cultural Night. Mm -hmm. So we're going to celebrate the culture of the Hispanics and play uh, uh, these Mexican all-stars and you know, give the team, uh, give the fans of Albuquerque a chance to see what's coming ahead. Um, Get them, a, hopefully, get a new fan base and, and get them kind of addicted to the game of indoor football. I'd, I, I want to say your organization has done a great job of marketing, really, really promoting 
what's going on with the team. We stay up to date with. We know what's going on in practice. We know when the new gear well, is coming out. Especially how fast and, it yeah, had to well, be yeah, put together. And that, that's what I mean. I wanna miraculous. Talk really miraculous. Um, Andreas Fajillo, yes. who's the uh, media uh, director, uh, has done a fantastic job with the media. Um, you know, he fits into my club, you know, uh, Andreas, you know, we're part of the not so handsome club, but we get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Andreas so, is back there and he's shaking his head like, what? So wait what a minute. That? Wait, wait, wait. So, so, that's so, a shot uh, at you, my friend. Yeah, uh, whoa. He, he just threw Andreas in the club. Well, I'm well, <laughs> starting to see the kind so of person you club. are. Yeah. I shouldn't say the not so handsome club. The, we, we've talked about this in the past. The you know, the face for radio club, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Andreas is in radio for a reason, okay. you know what I'm saying? And so, but uh, <laughs> Andreas, has done, real a, club, yeah, <laughs> Andreas <laughs> has done a fantastic job. Matt Kayward, the, the work that Matt has done is miraculous. Absolutely miraculous. We, we had a moment, myself and Matt, the other night before our first practice where we were standing at midfield going, wow, you know, look, you know, look what's transpired over the course of four weeks. Um, Mind-boggling. Yeah. So, you know, our goal is to, like I said, we, in the past, our goal was 16, 2016. It was Matt the one that said, what if we can do for 2015? And it's going to happen. You know, kickoff is going to happen at, you know, 6.15 Saturday night. So it's, it's pretty darn exciting. Another option for the Albuquerque sports fan, another option here at U Sports Central. Um, you know, so hopefully, maybe if we're lucky, we break into one of those top 10 highlights, you know what I'm saying? I, so. I think you guys are going to find your way in there, but I, I think this is a testament to uh, your personality. Tell everyone how the how your buzz broke down. You guys still had to go in there, still had to fight, and you're still positive about it. You're a positive we, uh, guy. I like that. We, uh, uh, we, <laughs> you're uh, making jokes about it. <laughs> I really can't tell you the whole story yeah. because we have a G-rated audience oh. here. So <laughs> I'll tell you, we'll clean yeah. up that. The, we broke down in between Wichita Falls, Texas, and Decatur, Texas, in a strip of mileage where there's not even street lights. So our bus, we're cruising down along, we're, you know, you know, thinking about the game. Next thing you know, we hear the engine go boom, 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 boom. And I go, and as the bus driver takes the bus to the side of the road, all I said to him was, are we in trouble? Coach, we're in trouble. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, can anything else go, you know, wrong? And we were sitting there for five hours because Man. they had to send a bus all the way from Dallas to come. Yeah, you're in no man's land. Oh, you're you know no man. Mean? I know what it's like now to be in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've lived like, it. We were literally I mean, in know, the middle we, of nowhere. <laughs> that was our number one opponent. Now, you know, our guys were on a bus, you know, you're hearing every creek and every this, and, you know, it's it's pitch black and... and but we didn't check into the hotel until 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, life in the world of semi-pro football. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean apologies. Buses hey, break down. Apologies. So, <clears throat> but you guys made it. You fought. We, you we, you said we your guys hard. put up a good effort. We, we and worked hard. So? Our timing just wasn't there. Our rookies really had a tough time adjusting to the speed of the game. The game is so fast. You know, when you don't, you've never played the indoor game before, your first experience in it, you're not you're not used to really not having the space of outdoor. Mm -hmm. So your speed, you know, carries you through. But in the indoor game, your speed no longer carries you through. Uh, perfect case in point, Jeremiah Stewart, our young rookie running back from the University of Houston, 429, 4340. Mm -hmm. You know, I you know, I said, you know, what happened after him? You look like, you know, you were moving not as fast as you've moved in practice. I said, Coach, I couldn't get over the speed of the game. Yeah. I mean to the point where it slowed him down. You know the speed of the game, so um, we'll overcome that. We'll, like I said, we're well. And we're for those about people it. that that are wanting to get interested in this, I mean, that is why this is so exciting, arena football, because it's not just professional football, as I said, semi-pro, <laughs> professional football, but it's yeah. great athletes, kids that come from universities that maybe didn't make it in the NFL or have been in the NFL in and out, kids that are trying to get a second chance in their career. These are great athletes. These are top of the line players. These are players from colleges all over the country on top of many UNM players. Mm -hmm. So yes, the, the fan base is gonna come out and see some great some great action, some great athletes, great young men, men of character, men of distinction. And so it's, you know, we, we're laughing laugh and joke. There's nothing near semi pro Yeah. Hey, you know? real deal. we appreciate you coming on. We're gonna see you Saturday night, no Good doubt luck, about coach. it. No, Good yeah, luck to right. the Gladiators. Hope to see Head everyone coach. else out there.